And hello YouTube and welcome back to another episode of The Zone TV Movie Entertainment with your host me, Jonathan. Once again, bringing back the review for Gotham. It's back. Hallelujah. This is Season 3, Episode 12, Ghost. Now, Gotham obviously renewed, took a little break, and now it's back, so finally. So before I begin, letting you guys know, spoilers if you didn't see the episode, because I will be talking about it in this episode because, well, I have to. Very cool episode. Um, This episode basically starts off with, you know, a couple of days or maybe even a week after the events of what happened in the last episode where um, Leslie Tompkins' fiancé, who got infected with um, the Mad Hatter's sister's virus, and he, you know, got all wacky and all that stuff, and then Jim Gordon at the end of that episode before the break basically blasted him to smithereens and he died. So now you have Jim Gordon trying to deal with that basic trauma that he basically gave to Leslie, who's basically very pissed off at Jim. And, um, yeah, Don Balcone, who was the father of Leslie Tompkins' husband's, you know, they basically put a hit on Jim Gordon. So that was basically the episode all throughout that. Now, while that was happening, you have another situation happening with the Penguin. Now, the Penguin, um, obviously, he's just male, male, uh, Mayor Cabapon, and, um, you know, something was happening to him where he starts seeing a solid, quote, a ghost, or his dead father, or so he thought. And before I get to that ending of how it basically ended with that, I mean, this ghost kept telling him weird things, like, oh, don't trust him, and, and, and you know, Penguin couldn't figure out what, what he was talking about. He thought he was losing his mind, and then, um, yeah, he literally thought he was losing his mind. He had, like, nobody, and you don't even see Nygma in this episode. You don't even see uh, Bar Barbara King in this episode, or Tabitha. You don't see anybody in this episode, so you're wondering, are they behind this? Or is this maybe the Court of Owls? Because you do see them in the last episode trying to, you know, keep an eye on the Penguin. So that way, because obviously, you know, they rule Gotham and the Night. And speaking of the Court of Owls, they are still after Bruce Wayne and Selina Kyle because they have some kind of treasure that they want. Because apparently it's a weapon that can basically, you know, end their reign and terror of being Gotham's elite. So you do have that, and of course you do get to see a new character in Selena Kyle's mother. She comes in, you know, she starts talking to her daughter, and they, they try to reconcile what happened between the two of them, why she abandoned her. And, you know, it was pretty cool for what it was. And then the, you find out the ending that uh, between the, you know, the penguin, you find out that his father's body has been kidnapped from its grave. And then Penguin freaks out, and while that's happening, he's got to um, do a, basically a TV appearance. And, um, yeah, everybody starts thinking that Penguin's gone crazy. He accidentally kills a person in his office, in obviously the mayor's office. And one minute, the body's there, the next minute, it's gone. He has no idea what the heck is going on. Now, while that's happening, and Jim Gordon's also trying to investigate some weird murder brought back to life, murder again kind of thing, where it's all connected to a cult that follows what Jerome, aka the Joker, or whatever you want to call him, you know, they follow him and they worship him, and he finds out that this doctor dude is experimenting on, I guess, dead bodies and bringing them back to life, so maybe he's going to bring back the Joker, that's going to be next week, but um, yeah, there was that, but... I guess it was a cool episode. A couple of things here I didn't really like about it. First of all, the whole trying to investigate the whole murder about somebody dying and then coming back to life and trying to figure that out. They should have just saved that epi that moment of the episode for next week because the whole thing with the penguin was a lot more interesting. And of course, the big hit on Jim Gordon's head, obviously, because Doug Van Cone wanted him dead and, and Leslie Tompkins really, really hates him. So I like that a lot. Um, oh, by the end of the, by, by the way, the end of the episode was basically 
showing that the Riddler was behind the whole thing. Him, Barbara, and Tabitha are teaming up to take down the Penguin from the inside. So there you go. That was cool. So let's see what happens now. Um, like I said, cool episode. And then you find out the ghost wasn't really a ghost. It was really Clayface or whatever you want to call him. <laughs> Disguising, like making him look like that was his real father. So that was kind of cool to see. But like I said, it was a fun episode. Um, I'm glad it's back. So next week we're supposed to get Jerome um, episode where he comes back to life. I guess with that doctor is doing experiments and just brings him back. I guess because he was an like, image for chaos and he wants that back. It should be a fun episode for next week, but let's stay tuned for that. So, um, like I said, I enjoyed this episode. I'm glad it's back. And I'm looking to for seeing more. So leave a comment below. Let me know what you guys thought about the episode. <clears throat> Excuse me. If you've seen it. And thank you and have a good day.